Are you trying to get started with the Aberdyne IFD? In this video, we'll explore the basic flight plan features in under 5 minutes. I would like to thank Avionics Source for sponsoring this video. Upgrade to the Aberdyne IFD through Avionics Source and receive $150 off. After you power up your avionics on the ground, go to the FMS page and there to the Flight Plan tab. Your flight plan defaults to just your origin airport. Let's start with a most simple example, going direct from your origin to a destination airport. You can enter the destination airport with the touchscreen keyboard or with the rotary knobs. Let me show you both ways. Using the touchscreen, tap below the origin airport to bring up the insert cursor. That's the cyan horizontal line. Then tap on the insert cursor and an on-screen keyboard appears. Enter your destination. As you enter each letter, the IFD will suggest a completion based on nearby places that match what you've entered so far. When you're done, press Enter. That's our first simple flight plan. To create the same flight plan with knobs and buttons instead of the touchscreen, use the bottom right concentric rotary knobs to navigate the cursor on the screen. The outer knob moves what is called the edit cursor from waypoint to waypoint, up or down, and also positions the insert cursor you saw earlier between fields. The inner knob moves a third kind of cursor called field cursor to specific details within a waypoint, and we'll discuss the use of the field cursor in a later video. So, using the outer knob, position the insert cursor, the cyan line, below the origin airport. Push either the enter key or the bottom right knob to add a new waypoint, and then rotate the knobs to enter the destination identifier. The outer knob selects which letter you want to change, while the inner knob then changes that selected letter. When you're done, press the enter key or the bottom right knob again to confirm your entry. This method works the same way as on the old Garmin GNS units. Whether you use the knobs or the touchscreen, there's one more thing left to do, and that is to activate the flight plan. You do that with a soft key labeled Activate Flight Plan on the left side of the screen, and you can either tap that soft key on the screen or press the line select key next to it. Now let's try a more complex example, using Airways. For the sake of brevity, I'm only showing you the touchscreen method of entering it, but you can use knobs and buttons just as well if you prefer. To delete the current flight plan and start a new one from scratch, go to the FMS page, Route tab, and make sure the top row labeled Current Route is highlighted. Hit the Clear key on the right to delete the current flight plan and confirm by pressing the Enter key or tapping the Delete Active Route soft button on the screen. Then go back to the Flight Plan tab. Since we just deleted the whole flight plan, we have to enter the origin airport. Then I add the Cedar Rapids VOR as the next waypoint. That's really easy because it happens to be the nearest waypoint in the database, so the IFD suggests it right away and I can confirm it with Enter. Tapping the insert cursor again, now I get a pop-up menu with several choices. I can add another waypoint, I can add a hold, or I can continue on one of several airways. I move to the end of this list and look for Victor 67 to join that airway from the Cedar Rapids VOR. Selecting Victor 67 brings up another pop-up menu with the possible exit points, which are all the waypoints on that airway. Note that from Cedar Rapids we can move along Victor 67 in both directions. For this example, I'm going to exit at the Rochester VOR. You can see how all the waypoints between Cedar Rapids and Rochester have now been added to the flight plan, and the airway designator, Victor 67, is shown in small letters on the side. To finish the flight plan, I move the insert cursor below the Rochester VOR, our last waypoint so far, and tap it. Then I select Waypoint from the pop-up menu to enter my destination, the Rochester Airport. Select Activate Flight Plan, and we're good to go. Three more things I want to show you here. First, there's a soft key on the left which lets you switch between an expanded view and a compact view. The expanded view shows all waypoints on the airway. The compact view just shows the entry and exit points for each airway and can make long flight plans easier to read and edit. Second, another soft key on the left is called Map, and it splits the screen into a narrow waypoint list and a map view to preview your flight plan changes right while you're making these changes. It's a nice way to do a visual sanity check while you enter the route into the IFD. And third, you can insert additional waypoints anywhere in the flight plan, not just at the end, by positioning the insert cursor where the new waypoint should go and then add a waypoint there. Or you can delete a waypoint from your route by highlighting it with the edit cursor and then pushing the clear button on the right or the delete waypoint soft key on the left. And that's it for basic flight plan entry on the Aberdyne IFD. I'll show you some advanced flight plan features in separate videos. Next up in part 3 are instrument approaches, again in under 5 minutes. Thank you for watching 
And a special thank you to my sponsors and to my supporters on Patreon who helped make these videos possible.